Yo, what's going on? Sexy Samuel underscore today. We're here doing a ranked one v one. I'm playing Scotty. Honestly, one of my least favorite gods in the game. I would rather play Sirket or Wheelix than Scotty. One, I, I know she's good, which makes it even worse because I'm bad with her. And two, I hate playing against her, so I don't have fun playing her. I don't have fun playing against her. Just a just a bad time all around, honestly. But it's okay. You know why it's okay? Because. I, honestly, I don't know. Because, I mean, I'm in a good mood, I guess. That's good. I'm tired, but I'm in a good mood. Um, Let's recap everything, shall we? Because this will be the first video that you guys see of me playing the A to Z series after a vacation. So, here's what happened. To I drove... Not. Uh, how, like, 900 miles there? I drove 600 miles there, which took 10 hours. And then we were at a beach house for a week. I got 10, which you might be able to notice, but I don't know because the light is really bright. And I also started playing Pokemon Fire Red. I now have a level 74 Dragonite. Um, I have other Pokemon too, but that's, that's my favorite one. Uh what else is cool that happened i uh drove 600 miles back <laughs> like, i don't know i don't know what to tell you the vacation was pretty much just relaxing i mean you know you go to a beach and you expect to just relax that's kind of the that's kind of the point of it oh i did get fully vaccinated i have that now um so in two weeks I actually be able to start back going to the gym, which I'm super excited about. Oh my fuck. Wait, 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 we kill him. 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 Oh, let's go. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, I'm fully vaxxed, so I can go to the gym in two weeks, which is great news because I'm fatter than a. Uh, what am I? I'm. Better than Snorlax. Um, what else happened? I gotta get the oil changed in the car today, and take Appa to the vet because we put Appa in a in a little pet hotel. Uh, because you know everyone was busy watching dogs already and couldn't watch Appa as well. Um, hold on, I'm murdering. Okay, he altered me. Holy schnoz, dude. Holy schnoz. Oh. <laughs> that should not have worked. Um, but we put him in a pet hotel because everyone was busy watching other dogs or something for the family. We had a ton of people go to the beach house, so. Yeah, he was in a in a pet hotel for I think eight days. And it what? No, it was a good one. It was it was the best one we could find because we love him, obviously. Um, no, we put him in like the best pet hotel we could find. I think I spent more on Appa's pet hotel stay than I did the entire vacation while I was there. But that's okay because I love the boy. Unfortunately, he seems a little weird right now. Like, I, I don't know if he's sick or if he's just like... He was really anxiety filled when we left uh, because I know Bijan's the breed is very attached to the owners and that's what he is a Bijan so I don't know what's going on with him but he isn't acting normal so I gotta take him to the vet today which is also why I'm getting the oil change today in the car and yeah pretty much everything that's happened with me also, we have 9,000 miles on a car that we bought five months ago. Well, um, well, yeah. I mean, the reason why we have so many miles on the car that we bought so recently is because of the fact that Shiv drives 80 miles per day to get to work. 40 miles there, 40 miles back. 
and obviously we did that 1200 mile road trip um can i can i can the dog can you hit the, the hit the bad guy hit the baddie or don't whatever that's cool too i guess um so yeah the, when you have drive almost 100 miles every day to get to work and you do road trips with the car the miles stack up pretty quick because uh actually i was gonna say we drove to new york in that but no we we took the other car I think we took um what was it was it the was it the mercedes we took was it the ferrari the lambo which one did we take i can't remember yeah our gold plated lambo i think is what we took i wish dude i feel like in order to have a gold plated lambo like people are like yeah that's a million dollars but you don't need a million dollars to get a gold plated lambo you need like 10 million dollars to be able to afford to spend a million dollars on a gold plated lambo it's very different but according to the internet my net worth is 31 mil so maybe i should go buy a gold plated lambo i'm fucking dead i'm dead oh i'm fucking dead kill him i'm so fucking dead <laughs> <laughs> okay we got him we got him nice um by the way I'm, i just full disclosure i'm definitely not even worth a million dollars so you know don't get it twisted i'm not even worth half of a million dollars or you know even half of a half of a million dollars i'm i'm very uh very not worth much so if you're thinking about kidnapping me for a ransom, you're not getting much out of it. Also, I'm fat, so good luck. <laughs> That's the only benefit to being big. I'm almost, I'm kidnap proof. You can't pick me up. Only I can pick me up. Unless you get like Eddie Hall to kidnap me, then I guess. Then I guess you probably could. Dude, Eddie Hall's story, by the way, on how he got rich is incredible. I don't know if you guys care, but I'm gonna. It, I, it, huh? Yeah, I'm winning. Um, I don't know if you guys care, but it's my channel, so <laughs> I'm gonna say it anyways. Uh, I follow a lot of strongman stuff on YouTube because that's you know that's what I do in the gym is I do strongman stuff. I don't do you know normal aesthetic workouts. I I work out to get strong. Um, but regardless, I follow a lot of strongman stuff on YouTube and Eddie Hall was the first person to do a 500 kilogram deadlift and he did it. He went from a, for, I think from a 440, I dig it. from a 440 kilogram deadlift to a 500 kilogram deadlift in literally one year, which by the way is not that's not a thing like people don't do that not only did he do that he bet the um we well, didn't bet but the owner of the world's strongest man competition gave him said he'd give him one million dollars if he could go from 440 which is what he was at to 500 in a year he'd give him a million dollars so what did eddie do he trained his ass off. He got the 500 kilogram deadlift and got the million dollars. You might be like, oh, that's where the story ends. That's a pretty cool story, right? No, actually, it's not. What did he do? He sold his fucking house and bet all of his money on himself being able to pull 500 kilograms. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he literally sold everything he owned and bet all of the money on himself to be able to make the lift. Plus the million dollars, obviously, that the... The um, advisor was was going to give him if he made the lift. So instead of making a million dollars, because, by the way, no one had ever done it and no one had even gotten fucking close to it. The odds of him, the, like the money odds was like 400 to one. And when he did it, my man's made like 50 mil. That's ballsy as fuck, dude. And you gotta admit, like, that's ballsy as fuck. 
Like, what if I, what if I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna play a dual game. I'm gonna sell my house and bet everything on the dual game that I'm playing. Like that, that, that it's like what? You don't do stuff like that. And it's not even, it's not even like any dual game, right? Like, cause uh, obviously I win more than I lose. It's not even a flex. But it's like if I were to fight Donnie Ray or or Paul, because Donnie Ray doesn't play anymore. If I were to fight Paul in duel, and I bet 100k on myself. That's that's what that's what the bet would be. <laughs> like, it's so out of the world. And then it happened, and now he, I mean he's a rich man now. Now all, and he I mean he's I think he's still the strongman stuff, but I think he's cutting down for his own health. Like he's cutting down his weight and stuff like that. Which is good. Because, by the way, strongmen die when they're like 40 or 50. They don't live very long because of how much strain they put in their body. Because also, to be a, a world-class strongman, you need to weigh like 450, you know? Like, you, you need to weigh a lot. Obviously, it's all muscle, but you still need to put that stress on your body. So, they don't normally live that long. So, it's good that he's... uh. It's good that he's trying to basically stop the incredible lifts and just do decent stuff dude i do so much damage oh he surrendered anyways thanks for hearing me talk about my nothing really honestly i don't think i said a damn thing about smite this video <laughs> but i talked about appa talked about eddie hall i talked about not being kidnappable I talked about, uh, what did I talk about? I don't remember. It doesn't matter though. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And, uh, yeah, I know it was fast as fuck. Until next time, guys. <gasps> Can you yell it? <laughs> yell it. Uh, they like it like barely peaked you want <laughs> okay okay i uh i think you guys heard that one <laughs> that's, that's the loudest i've ever heard you scream in my life <laughs> okay okay <laughs> see ya